What is up, guys? This is Tarong Guy, and we're going to do a little bit of rambling now just because i am still got, like, 45 minutes left to this car ride. And, well, I, I don't know. I just finished up some of my podcasts, and I got bored, and I feel like I can talk a little bit more now. So I would like to just because I haven't really been able to for the past week. So this is the most that I've been able to talk in the past week, so that's great for me. Um, the docs, they put me on some new stuff, which is, has helped my throat quite a bit. Um, I don't know what's going on with it. At first I thought it was the big bed, um, the plague that's been going around for the past couple of, like the year and a half now, but it wasn't, um, I don't know what it is. So that's a thing. Basically it was like laryngitis on steroids, uh, and it sucked. It wasn't fun. So, I have not done a rant or cast in a while, so I guess that's what this year is going to be. It's just going to be another episode of Rant Cast where we just <laughs> rant and rave and talk about whatever. So, I've been spending way too much time on TikTok lately. I mean, really didn't have anything else to do while I was waiting for Pokemon and stuff like that. And if I was on my phone, I was usually skimming through that. And I came across a lot of power scalers and death battle people and verses and stuff like that and that's a pretty messed up community like that's I don't know that community is cancerous man it just I don't know you have people with these huge huge followings who are then able to spout their bias and it's all over my fucking for you page (laughs) like it's everywhere I mean yeah granted I could block them I could not interest them, but some of the stuff that they say is fun to watch, um, I don't know, it's, it's fun, like, I was watching a debate, what the hell's the name, Happy or something like that, and then King and Queen Lion, I watched their debate a little bit, that was interesting, though, that was the first actual debate that I had watched in terms of, well, any debate, really, like, fuck, I don't even watch presidential debates, just because those are, (laughs) those get bad. Those are dumb. But, anyway, so I was watching these two. Now, granted, these guys here, they have quite the following. Like, no like no one can take that from them. They have one hell of a following on that platform. And, I don't know, I think Happy has a YouTube. And I know King Queen Lion has a YouTube where they upload some of their longer stuff. And then he also does his own comics and stuff, which is great. I mean, that's awesome good for him, that's fantastic, but listening to those two debate, like, it started off subtle, it started off nice, easy, Happy was making his points, Happy was opening the floor, um, the moderator didn't really do much, (laughs) honestly, like, he tried, don't get me wrong, It, it seemed like he tried, but then, I think the chat got to him, and then Happy kept picking at it, and people were t- saying that it was a two-on-one when the dude was honestly just trying to ask questions about it. At least from my perspective, it seemed like he was just trying to ask questions about the debate um, and general stuff that he didn't know. <coughs> Sorry. Um, the debate itself was about Naruto and Luffy. Who would win? Blah, blah, blah. State your case. Whatever. Now, Happy was pro-Naruto. King Queen Lion was pro-Luffy. And he never said a fucking thing about Luffy. <laughs> like, the entire debate... <coughs> I mean, it was... <coughs> Sorry. Wow, diet. <clears throat> Almost the entirety of the debate was King and Queen Lion picking apart the points that Happy was making about Naruto. Now, this spun unbelievably out of control, unbelievably fast... Like, I kind of figured it was going to. Um, I don't know. It was... How to, how to word things without running any, either of them through the mud. Um, Happy was making his points. Um, <laughs> and then when it came to Lion's turn, Lion would try to debunk his points. But he would pick one or two points and he'd pick at it and pick at it and pick at it. And Happy would try to defend it, 
by being louder than King and Lion. And that's really where things started to spin out of control because Happy started to raise his voice and interrupt Lion. And that's when the moderator should have told both parties, you know, to respect each other and let someone talk and whatnot. But that didn't quite happen because, or maybe it did. We just didn't hear it because it got crazy and people were getting out of control. And, oh my God, the chat was... I don't know. The chat was definitely split. Like, don't get me wrong. The chat was split. And I saw lots of people saying that Happy was carrying the L, that Lion was carrying the L, that Happy was winning, blah, 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 blah. And, um, but then Happy started to bring up some really dumb points. Like, just flat out dumb points. And I want to say they were dumb because they were fucking stupid. Like, the moderator was trying to figure out power scaling according to Happy because Happy said that Krillin could have killed Frieza because he cut off his tail with a destructive disc Happy said that if Krillin would have aimed for the neck or aimed for the head he could have killed Frieza I don't think that would have happened I don't don't think anyone would have thought that would have happened Um, but it's because he was off guard and blah 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 no I do not think Krillin could have killed freeze at that point in time and then so the the moderator asked to try to clarify things he he asked if an ant hurts a person does that put an ant on a human level does that make an ant you know power scaled to a human and then somehow it got if the ant could bite someone's arm off that they could kill a human. <laughs> and I'm sitting here thinking like, how did that just turn to that? Because like, ant is, well, the size of an ant. You know, they, they're tiny. They, they're an ant. Um, and a human, of course, is a human, so I don't see where an ant could, you know, bite off a human's arm, let alone their head, like Happy suggested, to be able to kill a human. Now... I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that came up or how that turned so quickly. But it did. It it did. It turned that quickly. And then they started talking about... Because the guy who was moderating uh, the beige thing, I think that's what his name was. I don't remember. Something like that. I guess he's pretty big in the anime anime community too. Saying that he's got friends at Funimation and stuff. You know, whatever. So then he asked about the laser that hit Goku. Does that put the laser on a multiversal level? Because apparently the beige saying scales Goku to multiversal. I don't think so. Oh, someone's calling me. Hang on. Sorry about that. I was getting a phone call. Um, so anywho, so he started talking about this laser that he apparently scaled to multi- or multiversal because it hit Goku and it did damage to Goku. So Happy said that the laser was on a multiversal level. That means it could do damage to a multiverse. To my knowledge, that's what that means. Like, to an outsider, that is what that means. If you're saying that it's a multiversal level laser, that means it's Dr. Do or Mr. Do or not Dr. Doom, what the hell's his name? Dr. Evil from Austin Powers, I think that's what his name is built his freaking laser that can destroy a freaking universe with its freaking laser or something to that effect that is how it sounds to me and a lot of other people now he did go on to clarify in other videos that that is not what he meant that it is because Goku was not paying attention he didn't have his guard up that is why he was able to deal the damage because it doesn't have the, da- or the, what do you call it, the DC, or the, yeah, the destructive capability of being able to destroy a multiverse. And that's where I was like, okay, all right, that, that makes sense. So he wasn't saying that this laser could, you know, nuke a universe or multi. Then again, neither can Goku by himself. I mean, and you're not going to tell me that he can because he can't. I mean, fuck, he shook the universe with Beerus. It took with Beerus. Now, granted, in the manga, maybe his new alter instinct or whatever the fuck it is, he's able to shake things up a bit, but I still don't think he can destroy them all. I I have yet to see him 
do a feat where you can destroy a universe. You know, I, I just don't see it. So, that was that. Um, and then I guess right after his debate with King and Queen Lion completely railroaded, and it literally turned into a screaming match. It reminded me of a schoolyard argument, like a schoolyard debate, you know, boy A and boy B out in the schoolyard basically just screaming their points at each other because whoever can be loudest is right. Now during this whole debate, it was supposed to be Luffy versus Naruto and well, we never heard nothing about Luffy. So that debate was like moot. It, you know, it was, it was a big old waste of time. <laughs> It, it was content. It was content for the people. It was, I mean, obviously it's content for me because I've just talked absolutely nothing about it, just that it, was, that it happened. Um, then, I guess it would, I guess Happy said that the original debate was whether or not the Naruto community was smart or something because I guess Happy said that they were dumb. So Happy took offense to that because, well, he's part of the Naruto community. Um, that's whatever. I think most communities are dumb. And you're not going to tell me otherwise because nine times out of ten, you do have a dumb person or two in your community. You can't tell me that you don't because I'm part of most of them and I'm pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> um, so that debate ended in a big burning bus crash. It, it just did. It, it down spiraled and then I think Lion eventually kicked him. So then Happy went on to his. He booted up his own live or whatever, and he started to, to debate with some guy, and I don't remember who the fuck he was, but I guess he was well-known in the anime community on TikTok or maybe YouTube something. I don't know. So he started to debate with him, and now this guy started throwing, like, right out of the gate. Like, he threw a lot of science sound and shit at this guy, and my brain hurt almost instantly because I don't understand fit physics. I don't understand a lot of what he was talking about. So I was just sitting there listening. I think I was playing a game or something while I was listening or watching TV or something. Yeah, I don't remember what I was doing. I think I was actually playing Pokemon. I might have been playing Pokemon. I don't remember. But it was it was something. It, it was nuts. It was crazy. So that happened, and then I don't know if that went anywhere because Happy kept over talking things and then because the dude said that he studied physics happy then derailed the entire fucking debate yet again and demanded to see this dude's credentials that he studied physics now i don't know if the dude went to college to study physics or a branch of physics or whatever but happy then said well i i studied japanese and i have the certificates to prove it and i was just sitting there thinking what does that have to do with this debate? <laughs> like, why is this being brought up? I don't know. Maybe there was something in the past between the two that... I don't know. Um, but yeah, Happy was... I don't know. It, it seems like that's... That's something a thing that I've noticed with watching his debate... Or him debate those two times is that he will latch on to something completely irrelevant to the debate and run with it. And, like, he will try to book it with that. Either he's losing the debate or he has no points or his points are being debunked. So he wants to try to change the debate. So literally he kept saying, show me your credentials that you can see the point. Show me your credentials that you can see the point. It's like, I don't even think he was at his house for one. So how is he going to show you anything? And what does that, what does that have to do with the debate at hand? So what? He doesn't have a shiny placard that says he studied physics. Maybe it was a class that he took for something. I don't know. I took algebra. Doesn't mean that I fucking know algebra. Doesn't mean that I could show you a, a plaque that says that I am have mastered algebra. Like, I don't remember most of it, but I took it. Um, no, I don't know. Both of, both of those debates have showed me one thing, and that was don't watch or try to debate happy because he will railroad fucking everything. And then for the past couple of days now, he's been making long, long TikToks and stuff, basically fighting off Lion's crew and 
this other guy's crew and trying to debunk all the points that they've been making and I don't know. I don't know. It, it was, it was something. It, it was nuts. It, it was not something that I was expecting to see by me going to my first official debate. Oh, I don't even think it was the. I don't even think it was official, especially the second one because there was no judge or nothing. But even the first one had a judge, and it it blew up. It blew up so quick. Like, I don't know. It it was something. I feel like I lost brain cells. Um, trying to think if there's anything else to talk about with this rant cast because my exit is coming up, which means I'll be home soon. Oh, I don't know. So how about you guys? Do you guys ever fall down the rabbit hole of TikTok and see some stuff that, you know, you regret? Because those are some hours of my life that I won't get back. And the debate never even happened between these two. Who would body who, Naruto or Luffy? I don't know. I was hoping to hear an actual debate, like feats and stuff, and everyone saying Naruto can tank a moon based attack, and then everyone else saying, oh, it was a hollow moon, and it wasn't based Naruto because he had Kurama's cloak, and whether or not he still has the. The Sage of Six Paths, or whatever, which I don't think he does. I don't know. I haven't really followed Naruto in a while, um, but I could have swore that he needed all the tail beasts to begin this, the six page thing. So I don't know. I don't know. And then it also comes down to: Do you take current form, or do you take their form at peak? That's one of those things that I never really understood because. People do it different with, differently for each thing. And if you're going to go by the wiki, and I think the wiki says, or the versus battle wiki, I think that there's, I think Happy showed that it says that you take them at their peak, which is fine. It's whatever. Because then it'd be Varian mode versus current Luffy. Um, I don't know. So who do you guys think would win that fight? Naruto or Luffy? Let me know in the comment section down below if you've made it this far. This is almost 18 minutes long. And I really haven't said much other than <laughs> nothing. I fucking rambled. I did it. I did the rant cast. I ranted the entire time and said absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a thing. Just because, well, I can do these. Well, oh. I'll have to cut that out. Thanks, mom. Um. Yeah. But other than that, I think that's it. I think we're going to wrap it up. Um, yeah. Yeah, no. That, I think that's going to be it. You guys have yourselves a great night. Have a happy turkey day. If you celebrate. If not, well, you're missing out. Um, yeah. Yeah. You guys have yourselves a good one. Bye now.